hello everyone welcome back to my channel uh, today I'm gonna work on a art tag and uh, I'm gonna use some Tim Holtz stamps here it's the Stampers Anonymous uh, classic one set the one with the dragonfly and stuff here I'm gonna use this one here and I'm gonna use this this one stamp here and this one here that says artist journal it's upside down but then the two I'm gonna use now I've already took the artist journal one and I already stamped it on here and I embossed it with black embossing powder and I'm gonna take this one the one I just showed you and I'm gonna put it on my stamp block here and I'm gonna ink it up with some black archival ink and you want to make sure that's inked up really, really good. Uh, make sure that's real, real inky. Because you want to get a nice, clear, dark image. Okay, so let's see how this works. And I'm going to take this card here and I'm going to stamp this image on here. Stamp it on here, uh, it's just like that. Mash down real hard. Try not to move it or else you get a blurred image. Okay, so we, now good, that's good. I'm happy with that. Let me wipe my stamp off here. Okay, that's what we're looking for right there. Okay, and now, I'm going to color that in with some Distress, Tim Holtz Distress Markers. And this here is Mustard Seed. I'm going to color the inside here. Let me see if I can bring it in a little closer for you. So you can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to color the inside yellow here. And I'm going. I'm going to take some um, wild uh, wild honey distress, and I'm going to go around the edges here and bring the shadows out like that. And I'm also going to hit this stem right up here. Then I'm going to come over here with the wild uh, mustard seed again, and I'm going to come around the edges here. And I'm going to use what's called a water brush. Uh, it has water in it. It's a brush. It's got water in a well here. And I'm going to squeeze my brush and apply it to the ink. And it'll give it like a watercolor effect. And that's going to make it gradually go from dark to light on the inside. And now I'm gonna take my um, I'll take my wild honey again. I'm gonna not that side. I'm gonna go around the edges again on this side. Give it another dark area here, just like that. Then I'm gonna take some festive berries and I'm gonna color the seed here a little. Just just a little. Give it a little color here. Okay. And I'm going to take a green marker and I'm going to hit the leaf right here, right here. And then I'm going to take this one color here, Forest Moss, and I'm going to paint the uh, darker side of the leaf here. Give it nice and shadow. I might even get this down in here. Get it that there, okay? And then I'm going to take my mustard seed again and I'm gonna I'm gonna color these pears right here on the side and of course wild honey again and I'm gonna hit the edges here to make like a shadow and with that same wild honey I'm gonna go over the lines here and make a uh, you know, a little design there, just like that. Bring it here. 
and uh, I'm gonna take my water brush again and I'm gonna try to smooth that out a little yeah just a little bit smooth that out this acts like a little water brush and I'm gonna come in here again with some yellow and go in other areas like here because you want to color that in and the same here okay and I'm gonna color that in as well and I'm gonna take some vintage photo and I'm gonna hit the edges here like this Just like that to put all that in. Yeah, it's a little bit here and there, a little bit there, underneath. Like that. I'm gonna use my water brush again. And whoop, that's too much water. Because you have to squeeze it to get the water to come out. Gives it that watercolor effect. And I'm also going to use the wild honey again. I'm going to use the wild honey again up in here because I want to get that color up in there. Action. All right. And uh, let me take some of the water off of here. I don't want that much. All right, that's good. Okay, I'm gonna dry that off a little bit. And we're gonna go around it again with the, just like that, one more time. Perfect. Okay, now I'm going to take this card here and I'm going to kind of, I want to tear this part off right here. Give it a little design. Okay, that's good right there. And now I want to color the bottom part here with some uh, walnut stain. Distress ink. And I'm gonna take this and just color those edges right there. Because I want it to be very, very dark on the edges. Just like that. Okay. Next, I'm gonna take my, uh, that's kind of dirty on my side, huh? Next, I'm going to take my card right here, and I'm going to put these two together. So I'm actually going to paste. I'm going to paste this onto this. I'm just going to put some glue on here. Just like this here. Sorry about my arm being in the way. Then I'm going to turn this this way and I'm going to put these two together. I'm going to paste this onto here. Just like that. Paste that down. Just like that. Okay. And now I'm going to take my card. My black card, actually I, I painted this card with some uh, black gesso, with some gesso, and then I painted it with some black uh, acrylic paint, glossy kind. Now you can even use black gesso, it's up to you, or you can just use a plain black card. 
and I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna paint it. I'm gonna, sorry, I'm gonna attach it right on the car, just like this. Just like that. Just like that. Whoops. Just like that. And that's the way that look. Okay, let me pull out just a little bit. Okay, that's about good. Okay. Now I'm gonna dry this off a little bit. Sorry about the noise from the heat gun. And then uh let me see. I wanna darken this area up down here, so let me go get my uh, charcoal pencil. And I'm gonna I'm gonna come down in here and I'm gonna darken this area up here. Just like this. I'm just gonna just like that. That's exactly the way I want it. Okay, then I'm gonna take a little bit of uh, wild honey and just go like this. Get the edges here. And put a little bit of the water brush onto it. Dry it off a little bit more. <laughs> Okay, next, I'm going to take this here, the, nut, the letter I did, some more wild honey. Okay, water brush, of course. Okay, and I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut these in half. Like that. Into two words. Oh, come back here. Okay. Then I am going to glue the word artist and journal onto the tag. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to put artist, well, let me see, I'm going to put it right here, artist, stick on there, then I'm going to put journal, did I say artist journey, I meant artist journal, And I'm going to paste you right up underneath, right here. Okay. Put this right here. Okay. And then I'm going to come in again with my heat tool. Put a little heat to it. And help it dry up a little. going to take a white Sharpie paint pen and I'm gonna make sure it's lying in front and I'm gonna go around the edges here to bring my edges out. I might get a little smear here and there but that's okay. To me it just adds character to the work. I'm going to go around the edges just like this. And stick down a little more. And I'm going to do the. Just like that. Okay, and I'm going to come here. Bring this part up. with that white border amount of eggs just like that 
all right next let me put some heat in the next i'm going to take my uh versa mark pen and i'm going to come around the edges just, just like this a draw border here with my versa mark pen Just a thin border, however you want to put it. Then I'm going to take my um, gold recollections and ball powder. And I'm going to hit those edges just like this. And hit the edges. Some gonna have thick, some gonna have not so thick. I'm gonna hit that just like that. Put this back in. Okay. And uh, let me see. Might want to take some of it off here because that's not where I want it. Clean that up a little bit. Okay. Then I'm going to take my heat tool and I'm going to heat that up. And it should turn a nice gold color. Hopefully you can see that. This board is going to turn a nice gold. Come this way and we'll do it again. Make sure we got all of it here. Okay. And this is what you have here. You have a nice gold edge here. And now what I did, uh, let me see, this here, I did one previously, the pair. I painted it just like this, colored it, and then I took some glossy accent and I put it around like this here, all over it, and I let it set out for about three hours and let it dry. And this is what I have right here. It's the same thing, it's the pair. Well, coming out of camera. It's a... Uh, Okay, yeah, come back this way, Valley. It gives it a glossy, shiny, uh, hard image. And I put some pop-up dots on the back of it, or square. And I'm going to take these off. And I'm going to put it right over, whoop, right over the same image. Just like that. And what it does is it gives it a pop popped-up image. Just like that. And I'm going to take my, uh, this is vintage photo, and I'm going to go around here, the edges here, and make like a bit of a shadow. A bit of a shadow around the edges, just like this. Let's see if my water brush can pull it out a little bit more. Yeah, it does. Pull that out just a little bit more and there we have it that's our card for today i hope you all enjoyed it it's called uh, the artist journal tim Ho card can't even let you get in and take a quicker closer look isn't that beautiful okay uh that's my uh tag for today I hope you all enjoyed the video and I hope you all have a wonderful day and uh, I'll be back with another video okay thanks for watching everyone bye bye